I'm Max Egan. I'm a mechanical engineering and MBA student at the University of Alabama, and I've been interning at Burns & McDonald, an engineering consulting firm based in Kansas City. I've always been fascinated by sustainable energy and have the awesome opportunity to experience renewable development here at Burns & Mac. My dad, who has been part of the manufacturing space for the past 25 years, has taught me everything he knows, and now's my chance to return the favor. So I invited him to explore the world of renewable energy and the people and places responsible for its future. This is Manufacturing Explorers. Welcome to California. Today we are headed to the Moss Landing Energy Storage Facility to see how all that renewable energy that is created by places like solar facilities is stored and then pushed out to actual homes. But on the way there, we ran into an old friend. Ahoy! What? It's Ryan. So uh, that power plant over there? That's the one. Huh, interesting. I've always uh, been curious about what goes on over there. Well, you know, Moss Landing. I mean, started out as a whaling port, I guess, and uh, now we're into renewable energy. We're quite a bit away from the San Francisco Tech Lab. Yeah, I'm just here enjoying the scenery, taking a little morning stroll right here on uh, Monterey Bay, right where the Elkhorn Slough meets the Pacific Ocean. And uh, so happy to come across you guys. Can't wait to catch up after the tour. Maybe we can get together for a, a beer and some chowder. Yeah, I'd love to tell you all about what we learned today over at Moss Landing. Sounds like it. Sounds great. Well, have a great right, rest of your see day. You later. Yeah, see you later. These two smokestacks towered above the California coastline and were hard to miss even on a foggy day like today. I was really excited to visit this retrofitted natural gas plant that was being used as a battery storage center for renewable energy. As you drove up to the facility, you couldn't help but notice how massive this place really was. Hey Jacob, it's good to meet you. Max Egan. Hey Max, nice to meet you. Jacob, how are you doing? Travis Egan. Travis, nice really to meet great you. To meet yeah, you. nice to meet you. I'm Jacob. So I'm excited to welcome you guys today to the grounds of Vistra's Moss Landing Power Plant, which is now establishing itself as the world's largest battery energy storage facility. This is great. I'm really excited. Yeah, it's going to be awesome. Let me show you guys around. All right, good. This battery facility we were getting a tour of today had actually been built by ASCO, a fabrication company that my dad and I had visited before that was vital in the renewable energy ecosystem. They had built and installed over 1,500 battery racks here at Moss Landing. So this is our building. It is roughly the size of a football field and it houses 1,558 battery racks, which you can see along these rows over here. So how many, how many megawatts does this storage facility hold? So this is a 100 megawatt facility, that's power, and then the energy is really what the batteries define. And yeah. that is, it is a 400 megawatt hour nameplate facility. So wait, I got a question. So, yeah. lame in here. So, 400 megawatts, what does that mean? Can you put that in perspective? Yeah, so 100 megawatts is the power and then 400 megawatt hours basically means that they can get 100 megawatts of power for four continuous hours on a discharge. I'd like to take a look inside one of these. I mean, you've got these racks here, but yeah. they're filled with batteries? Yes, that is exactly correct. So inside each rack, there are 22 modules. So each one of these that you see is a module. And inside each one of those modules is a little under 60 cells. And a cell is roughly this is an oversimplification, but it's pretty similar to your cell phone battery. So in, in our building, we have just under 2 million cell phone batteries, and that's what's being used oh to gosh. charge and discharge. It's not truly a cell phone battery, but for ease of understanding, that's essentially what's packed inside each one of these modules. Is it shaped like that? It's, uh, a, it's a pouch cell, yeah, it's shaped like this. Exactly. Okay, okay. Battery storage is such an interesting technology. The lithium batteries here only have a duration of about four hours in most cases, though there are some emerging technologies like flow batteries and others being developed to increase energy storage time. It's definitely a key component of the future of renewable energy. So this is an inverter right here. And right. this is where all the DC gets converted to AC. So this is where the magic happens. And our DC cables that we were looking at before, Yeah. Uh, if you looked at the other side of these, which we can't get into, <laughs> you'd see the cables come in here. Yeah. And then they come into here, which is a bunch of power electronics. And this is a bunch of black magic, basically. It spits <laughs> out AC power. And then our AC power comes through here to the transformer, which is on the other side of this skid, on the other side of this door. I mean, safety's all over, all over this place. Yes. What are your concerns? 
So none, because we have these covers on everywhere, so you shouldn't be touching anything that you shouldn't be touching. So okay, so everything's yep, behind. Everything, everything is behind these. This, you can kind of see there's a bunch of electronics and stuff back here. Also, like I said, our system's dead right now, so we, we shouldn't have any problem touching anything. It's all locked out. But safety is always first, so that's why you'll see a lot of stickers like this one that say, hey, there's something here you shouldn't be messing with if you don't sure. know what it is. And those are all over our facility. All right, so this is the substation where we tie into. So if you see the structure over here to the left where you see some black cables coming up, yeah. that is where our entire site is collected. It goes on to that larger structure that hits the other side of this big transformer you can see here that says Siemens on it. That transformer takes R34,500 volts that we talked about before and steps it up to over 500,000 volts for this stuff. And that's when we hand our electrons over to PG&E and they take them on that big tower there, it takes those lines to a large switch yard, at which point KISO is then in control and can do whatever they need to do with the electrons. So yeah. like we talked about before, the main purpose of our facility is to do energy arbitrage, which is just getting electricity when it's cheap, when all the renewables are on during the day, and then selling it later at night when it's more expensive. We're really just day trading electrons in our facility. I think it's really interesting how many different companies were involved in just this one project, from ASCO handling construction to Vistra producing the energy, and then Kaiso distributing it to the grid. There isn't just one company doing everything. This battery storage facility was incredible to see and learn about. During our tour, I found out that Jacob had also interned with Burns and & Mac, and I thought I'd see what he did as an intern. So Jacob, I think it's so cool that you get to be on site and be doing the renewable energy work. Um, that's actually what brought me to the company. I'm working in the energy development team. But, uh, but I was curious, so what it, when you interned with the company, what were you doing? Yeah, that's a great question. So my first internship, actually my first week, I went to an old coal plant in the middle of nowhere, Wyoming. Okay. And I started to realize that electricity is really fun. There's a lot of cool stuff happening. Um, and then my second internship, same thing. I, I actually traveled again for a couple sites in my second internship. And I also got involved with the sustainability team as an intern okay. and learning about what we're doing at our world headquarters to try and be a sustainable company and promote sustainability in the stuff we do for our clients as well. And then, as I discussed, it, it turned into a full-time job now doing energy storage. I said, the day I got an energy storage team, I called my parents and I said, I, I got my dream job at my dream company because I'm doing meaningful work for a company that values their employees and values their clients and values making all of it successful so that we can have a stable grid that is a green grid. Yeah, I can really, I really get that feeling when I'm working, uh, just for the summer, um, just how passionate everyone, especially in the energy group, is for delivering reliable energy yep. um, and helping the world transition. So thank you so yeah, much thank today you for the tour. It has been a pleasure. Thank, thank you. you. It's important work. I'm glad you're uh, doing this for us. I, I appreciate it. Thank you, guys. This tour left us with a lot to think about, and we headed off to grab something to eat and share our experience with Ryan. So tell me about your visit to the Mighty Moss. It was really cool. Um, I, I really enjoyed getting to learn from uh, Jacob. He was our tour guide at the plant, and he's actually, he interned at the company a couple years ago. Oh, wow. So he was kind of putting everything in perspective, which I really liked. Um, I mean, that the battery facility that they're working on right now, that they're literally putting online in like a week or two, uh, can power 100,000 or more homes. Um, and I think it gave you some perspective too. Yeah, yeah I mean, Travis, how, how about it? What was it like for you? Yeah, I mean, it's unlike pretty much anything I've actually ever toured in manufacturing. It was really cool to see it through Max's eyes. I mean, he's pretty passionate about renewable energy and this is, you know, one element of that uh, entire ecosystem that is sort of critical to, to bringing renewable energy into importance. Well, it was, uh, it was so great running into you guys. You seemed totally energized and charged up after your tour of the Moss Landing power we're, plant. So. We are amped about the opportunities for amped. battery storage. It's a good way to put it. What's next for your journey, or is this, is this, this the is end? This is it. We've seen, we've some, seen some renewable technologies, um, some traditional technologies, and now we've seen the battery storage. It's the, kind of the newest thing. So. Okay, great, yeah. Well. Uh, look forward to seeing you down the road and definitely let me know next time you're in California. It's always great bumping into you on a pier. Like or a beach, yeah. <laughs>